part two of my Blender uh, basics. Um, so last time I showed you how to split windows and move windows around and stuff like that. Uh, but you notice every time you start a new project, it goes back to the default settings here. Well, you can create your own default settings, uh, which makes it nice. I personally don't like the original white setup. I don't know why you would have a 3D, just one 3D view. This is the way I usually like to set it up. You set up how you want. I'm going to split this 3D view up here like so. I usually set this one to the camera, this one to top view, and this one to front view. And I usually delete the default cube because I don't want that there. Now that I got this set up how I want it, I just go File, Save as Default Settings. And now it saves that as my default settings when I start a new project. So I can add in a bunch of stuff here and move around. Now when I want to start a new project, I can go File, New, or just hit Control x and Erase All, and it goes back to this, because this is my default settings. A few other things I like to set up by default is on any of these windows, if you hit F1, that's uh, uh, for opening a new file. It turns that window into a file browser, so if I put my cursor over here, it turns that into the file browser. Over here, it turns this into the file browser down here. Um, but you'll notice if I go to my home directory, there's a lot of files in there, and a lot of them are dot .files, which if you're using a Unix-based system, dot .files are hidden files. If you want to hide hidden files, you just hit this little ghost here, whoop, and they're hidden. Uh, but once again, that will reset when you restart the project, unless at this point you go and save as default settings. If you're using a laptop, as last time I showed you, you can emulate number pad. If you click that and save default settings, it will save that. And another thing I like to do, if you click on this little window here, or hit F10 while you're over the uh, buttons window, it brings you to your renderer options. And a thing I like to do is click this NTSC button here. That sets your project to uh, the resolution and frames per second for NTSC. I live in America, that's the format we use. Uh, if you live in Europe, you'll probably want to use PAL. And there's other options, but Personally, uh, I think in 99% of the time here, you use NTSC. So choose that if you want, or however you want it set up, and save default settings, or control U to save default settings. At any time, if you screw stuff up so badly that you can't get it back to, you know, you end up splitting the window 100 times and you accidentally save that as your default settings, what you can do is go File, Load Factory Settings, oops, load factory settings, click erase all, it goes back to the factory settings and then you still have to save this as your default settings to revert that back to your default settings. So that's your next tutorial in the uh, Blender user interface. Just a little bit on uh, customization and saving your settings. Hope that's helpful so that you don't have to change everything every time you start a new project, you open it up, it's how you like it. Um, so uh, that was tutorial number two, and uh, visit filmsbychris.com for more tutorials like this.